Hello everyone, Trophy Hunter here, and today I have a tutorial on how to get great results in Fallout 4 and in the UDK exporting textures from Substance Painter. So when you have your model all textured and ready to go, what you do is go up to File, of course, Export Textures, come over to Configuration, and I'm going to include this export preset. This is the one I use for the UDK, but this will also perfectly work in Fallout 4, and I'll show you how to do that. A couple other notes to mention. Um, you can actually texture in metal roughness. You don't have to do specular uh, gloss, which some people don't like, including myself. I like to texture in metal roughness. So once you're ready to export, I'm gonna export the barrel attachment at 2k is fine. I'm gonna use Targa and I'm just gonna export to the desktop for the tutorial and I'm gonna use 16 dilation pixels but essentially what you need for the export is the diffuse which is base color. RGB um, this is for the UDK for Fallout, you do need gloss and specular. Specular goes in the red channel, and the gloss goes in the green. Blue channel is left empty. Same with the normal map for Fallout. You don't use the blue channels for both those. But for the UDK, you do. And I'll let you know why we need the metalness map in a second. We're using a converted specular, as you can see here. One of the channels that uh, the UDK absolutely needs. All right, once you export, you're gonna need like Photoshop or GIMP or something to be able to edit the textures. All right, with this opened up, what we need to open up is the diffuse, metalness, and specular maps. Normal and RGB are fine if you're working in the UDK. So what we wanna do is since I I wanted to use this uh, map because it has uh, organic being the wood material here and obviously the rest of it being metal the two are very different and this trick is needed in order to get the right look what you do is copy the entire specular map paste it on top of the the diffuse texture on a new layer. Create a layer mask. Come over to the metalness map. Copy that. And then go into channels and then go into your mask that you just created and paste it into the mask. And now you want to change this layer blending mode to multiply. As you can see, it doesn't affect the organic material, it keeps it pretty much exactly the same way. Another thing you can do if you want is actually open up the RGB and copy the blue channel as this is the mixed AO channel and you can add in more shadows on top of this if you want. You don't have to. You can change it to multiply as well and just maybe turn down the opacity a touch. So you can see you can get whatever results you desire. Since like Fallout 4 doesn't use a big ambient occlusion map, you could just kind of bake it into the diffuse just a bit but for the udk you don't have to and once this is ready to go just export it as a target the desktop overriding the diffuse texture i use 32 bits per pixel and we're all set when in doing this you can achieve very good results they this is a screen cap of the UDK and I think it's the static mesh editor but as you can see the results are very good now they aren't going to be quite as good as like Marmoset tool bag with metal roughness for example something like this however your results should be pretty darn close to what you had in painter and of course the lighting there's only I think one light in this scene so I hope that is helpful and 
I hope you have success in exporting your textures.